Bill Morneau has resigned. Justin Trudeau is planning to prorogue parliament. And in effect, he's canceling both his own trial and the trial of ex-minister Bill Morneau. Boy, I don't think that there has been a day when I've more looked forward to reading the news to you. Everyone knows Bill Morneau has resigned at this point, but what you might not know is Justin Trudeau is planning on backtracking on a major platform plank of his real change platform back in 2015. Really, it should mean real cringe because that's what it is. Justin Trudeau promised absolutely that he would not be proroguing parliament, but today when he needs to put his government on life support, well, boy, how the tables have turned. I hope, Mr. Speaker, that a future prime minister and future prime ministers will answer questions from all members, not just party leaders. I hope, Mr. Speaker, that future prime ministers will not abuse omnibus bills, will not use prorogation to avoid difficult situations. That is why we made these promises to Canadians, and that is why we are going to deliver on those promises to improve the way that this House works and to always be open to the suggestions that other members will have so that we can improve services that we offer in Ottawa and in our ridings. Justin Trudeau will be going to the Governor General, Julie Payette, on his knees, begging her to cancel Parliament for months so that A, Justin Trudeau can't be held to account during question period, but also B, and more importantly for Justin Trudeau, his political reasons for doing so is to cancel the trials of Bill Morneau and Justin Trudeau. By cancelling Parliament, you cancel all of the work that committees are doing. The Finance Committee that we have heard so much about that has grilled the Kielberger brothers, Katie Telford and Justin Trudeau himself, well, they're not going to be able to continue on with their work. The Ethics Commissioner is not going to be able to continue with their work in what was most definitely going to be a conviction of law-breaking activity. Justin Trudeau and Bill Morneau have broken the law. That's what they were going to find for the third time, in fact. Justin Trudeau doesn't want that little bit of news out, and he doesn't want his government to collapse, so he has put it on life support. You know what that means, though? Justin Trudeau's legislation has also been cancelled. Bills in their first and second readings, even, are no longer on the docket. They have to be returned to Parliament with consent, meaning likely, in a minority situation, they're going to be cancelled. This was urgent legislation. It was life-saving legislation even. It was about six bills at least. And one of them, I want to point out to you, was a bill on conversion therapy. Just a few weeks ago, Justin Trudeau would have told you that this was life-saving legislation. Whether you agree with it or not, Justin Trudeau was saying that this legislation to criminalize conversion therapy in the LGBT community, well, that was going to prevent the suicides of LGBT youth according to Justin Trudeau. Well, in cancelling Parliament and proroguing Parliament, he has killed this bill. Justin Trudeau has prioritized putting his own government on life support over what he calls the lives of LGBT youth. That puts it into perspective, but that might not even put it into perspective as much as this. Just a few years ago, Justin Trudeau praised the Communist Party of Canada. You can't make this stuff up. Justin Trudeau praised the commies for standing up for democracy, for standing against proroguing parliament. Well, now Justin Trudeau has done this. I guess that makes him even worse than the communists, the very people that he's praised, both in that tweet and, of course, when he praised communist China. Now, the well-spoken Pierre Polyev, the one you probably know, the one that was grilling Justin Trudeau and Telford and the Kielberger brothers in the Finance Committee, well, he had a few less than kind words to say about Justin Trudeau's government. We now have a government of corruption, cover-up, and chaos at a time of a deadly pandemic and the biggest economic collapse since the Great Depression. Now, Justin Trudeau's government is on life support. He's throwing away the work of his government to keep it on life support. He's going to be going to the governor general on his hands and knees, begging for her to help him keep his job. What unfolds in the next few hours, few days, and few months, nobody is really sure about it. But what we can be sure about is this is all a result of Bill Morneau and the pressure that was placed on him to resign.
People who have contributed and helped share our Fire More No campaign should seriously be patting themselves on the back right now. I think that that was one of the first dominoes in a chain that has caused this problem for Justin Trudeau, that has caused him to put his government on life support. Everyone who contributed to that campaign, I can't thank you enough because now we can say it was absolutely successful. Sure, Bill Morneau wasn't fired, but we know what resigned means in a Justin Trudeau government. Bill Morneau was no longer welcome around the cabinet table, and it's all thanks to the pressure that Canadians and rebel viewers put on him and his constituents in downtown Toronto. Check out David Menzies' video on location with our billboard truck. Hi there, man. What do you think? Should Bill Morneau resign? Yes. Should he not step down or be fired? Well, I'm sure, yeah, they all do that, though. It's not anything new. <laughs> it's nothing new to me, you know what I mean? Like, It's sad, well, you know, there is a lot of corruption, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Of course there is. Okay. That's all there is. Okay. It seems to be a, a terrible conflict of interest. Um, I just feel like politicians in power need to be financially responsible with their money. And um, yeah, I mean, they have a duty to their taxpayers. So I just feel like that should be number one. Is Trudeau going to do the right thing and fire him because it doesn't look like... No, no, he doesn't care. Now, as I said earlier, I was hoping for a plane to be circling around downtown Toronto, but unfortunately, we didn't even recuperate the costs of our billboard Toronto. So if you want to help us out with that, just recuperate the costs of that whole campaign, you can do that still at firemorno.com. But I think there's larger projects on the horizon. Justin Trudeau is next. Justin Trudeau is equally culpable for the crimes of Bill Morneau. Bill Morneau was his responsibility and the whole we scandal is Justin Trudeau's responsibility. We are going to be on this case harder than anyone. The mainstream media right now is running puff pieces saying that proroguing parliament is just a reset. He's resetting the deck of cards so that he can come back stronger in October. Of course, when Stephen Harper did it, they all said it was undemocratic and it was almost a crime against Canadians. Well, now it's different for Trudeau and it's different for the mainstream media, but Rebel News is on the case. If you want to help us out with our Fire More No campaign and all of our campaigns in the future and all of our coverage, please help us out at firemorno.com. For Rebel News, I'm Kian Bexty. I am so happy to report that our Fire Morneau campaign was a success. Bill Morneau is no longer our Minister of Finance, and although Canada is still being run by Justin Trudeau, I think his days are numbered. If you go to firemorneau.com, you can help pitch into our campaign that we didn't break even on so that we can continue on in the future doing the work that needs to be done.